train your mind and your body literally train your mind like train your mind as if you're training for a race it's easy to do with physical with our body we can just move our bodies there are so many different things you can do you can do like a, a boot camp or a group style workout you can do yoga you can do kickboxing you can do swimming you can do walking you can do tennis it, it doesn't really matter what you do just as long as you're moving your body you're training your body to always be active but i remember even a time where i couldn't walk right because i had so many knee issues so those knee issues, they, they put me out of commission for time. And I really did feel different. It's like, it's a different feeling if you're sitting on the couch because you can. But to sit on the couch because you have to, I was on crutches, so I had to be on the couch. I had to elevate my leg and put ice on it and have the brace. And it was this whole thing, right? There's this whole thing. You know, not being able to train my body and move my body in the way that I wanted to uh, that I was used to, it was, it was a little bit, it, it was it was a different reality. And a great thing to do to train your mind is breathing. Breathing, as simple as it sounds, as simple as breathing sounds. It's like, oh, I can breathe, but you'll be surprised. Some people don't know how to breathe. When you're breathing in, we tend to breathe from our chest, right? And just really suck that air in and just breathe from the chest. Just making sure that you're, you're sitting upright. Um, and then place one hand on your stomach. So with one hand placed on your stomach, you're gonna breathe in and make sure that your stomach pushes your hand out as if you're inflating a balloon. And when you breathe out, deflate all the air, blow all the air out of the balloon and repeat. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out.